The decisions we make on the battlefield can and do change the dynamics of the game. Today, we're just gonna look at my thought processes in encounter mode in video number three of my thought processes series. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. And this is video number three in my thought processes and decision making series. This time, we're just going to be focused on encounter mode in random battles. Now, as you can see, I'm already looking at the team list, and the reason why I'm going this way is because they have a Drach, a Pantera, and a Brigetto 46. Pretty nippy tanks. So I'm not expecting them to go in this direction. I'm expecting them to go the other way. I'm expecting their heavies, mainly the Chieftain, the Emil, and the IS-3, to be around the middle area somewhere with the Challenger supporting. And there we go, there's the Emil one in the middle area. We get a lucky bounce there. I get a little bit of lag and he gets a shot in. I have to switch it to APCR, put a round into him. Now I'm looking to make a move but I need to get into this dip to be hauled down because I don't know because I can see that there are tanks around the base cap which means they're in the center like I expected them to be but I want to make a move on the Emil. I'm going to try and get a shot into his bottom plate. I managed to track him but I don't break his track. I need to back off a little bit because he's focused on me. Now he's focused on somebody else. Try and get the track shot again and don't manage it. So I'm now going to push down onto him. I have support, so it should be pretty straightforward. Push down on him, get the bottom plate. He's out of the game. Now we've got the IS-3, the next heavy to contend with. Get up in, in, put a shot in, angle the tank, get a bounce, continue pushing on him because he's not getting out of the way. Get another roll in, try to angle again, but he's looking at my bottom plate. He's not focused on me. I, I managed to... Avoid the shot, put another shot into him, he's out of the game. And as you can see, the only tanks remaining are the Challenger, the Drac, and the Progetto 46, which I expected, to be honest with you. I'm going to roll up here, try and get one into the Progetto, get a nice shot into him, don't break his track, unfortunately, back away a little bit. But now I'm pretty worried. I can see the Challenger is being a pain, so I want to get round here, and I need to get round the back of that Challenger. Brigetto is gonna get a shot into me, but I can manage that. It ain't gonna be a problem because I've got the HP. He puts a shot in. I'm allowed to come up on the back of the challenger. Should be able to take him out. Down he goes. Now it's two on two. There's a Drac and there's a Brigetto. Now, I'm torn. Both tanks are pretty dangerous, but the Drac, I think, is slightly more dangerous to me because of his speed and nimbleness. So, I can see the Progetto is backing away. I'm gonna push on the Drac. I put an AP into him, then I load HE because I may be able to get some high rolls into him on his front plate. There we go, 300. He gets a good shot into me. I'm losing HP. Apparently I'm a pussy, but uh, you know, everybody has an opinion. Now we've just got the Progetto left. Get a shot into him. Hopefully he's gonna push me, but he's not. So I've got no choice, I've got to push him. He's a dangerous tank. I mean, he's an auto-loading tank, an auto-reloader, in fact. And he's got three shots that he can put into me. He can empty the clip and wipe me out. So I've got to play this one carefully. However, he's a three shot to me. I get one shot in, I break his track, he gets a shot into me, he's whittling me down. I get stuck here, he gets another shot into me. Now I get very lucky, he leaves me on four hit points. He's now reloading, managing, allowing me to put a shot into him, winning the game. Just shy of 4K damage. Uh, we get a first class, we don't get a mastery in this tank, but we did okay. Now, okay, I got a little bit lucky at the end there. I totally agree. But as you can see, the thought processes that I'm going through changes the dynamic of the game. I'm picking the targets and I'm thinking where my positions and where they're gonna go tank-wise. So, moving on to the next game. This time, we're in the Badger, the tier 10 British TD. That is currently in the auction. Now, the Badger is an interesting tank. 
it's got pretty good frontal armor that's about it it's it's not bad mobility wise and it's got quite a nice gun although i'll be honest with you i'm going to probably noob out the first couple of shots in this tank because well the dispersion well it's the dispersion but here we are in encounter mode so what i'm doing i'm, I'm sitting on the tracks expecting them to go to the desert and i can see that their lights and me their medium sorry did go towards the desert i'm look at that two modules broken oh I expected something more than that in the PTA, and now he gets behind the building. So now I've got a choice to make. There is no point me being here, but on the same token, there is no point me being in the thick of it over on the right-hand side. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna go towards the middle area. The reason being is because I need to keep my bottom plate, if I can, down. Now, I can see that there are tanks around this middle area. There's a Sheridan, there's the PTA, there's the WZ, and there's a 120. I'm not gonna be able to get shots on most of those from this position, so I need to move forward, like we are here, and I need to come around and try and get around the back of them. Now, the PTA is over on the side. He doesn't concern me. He's not a concern to me, but I'm gonna try and get a shot into him if I can. No, I can't. So I'm gonna look at their heavies instead. I've got a Mark VI that is a one shot. Take him out. There he goes. Now I can push down onto the Kranwagen. Don't forget, I've got really good frontal armor. I'm right behind him. I can get a good shot in. And my reload is very good, even though he's more to reloader. However, I'm gonna ignore him, try and get a shot into the 57 heavy. I managed to get a hen an engine fire. Now I'm gonna relook at the Kranwagen because he's now a one shot, get rid of him. This now will allow me to push the 57 Heavy, who is a generous one shot to me, maybe a two shot. But if I can get the right shot, I can get rid of him. So here we go, no, nope, he's a two shot to me, 470, he's gone. Now I've got a PTA and a Sheridan to deal with. Here comes the Sheridan, I'm gonna tr track him with my, I'm well, not track him as in track him, but track him with my gun, get a shot into him, He's now a two shot and the PTA is a three shot. The Sheridan is gonna sit with his backside to me. I get another shot into him. He's probably gonna take out our Kranwagen, but it's not a problem. He's now a one shot to everybody on the battlefield. So is the Cranny to be fair. So I'm gonna come round and take out the Sheridan. There goes the Sheridan, leaving me with the PTA. Now, if I go frontally, he ain't gonna pen me. Simple as that. Now, I thought about loading HE because they like HE rolls, but I've decided against it. I'm now going to just hug him, and he has got nowhere to go whatsoever, allowing me to load up and take him down. 4,150 damage knocked out, four kills, and that was quite a nice game. We played it well. Again, we picked our positions and we picked our targets, and that helped us get a good result. So, moving on to the last game. This is me in the French Tier 10 Premium that's just come out, or is it Collector? I cannot remember. The AMX M4. And I've, this time I've teamed up with the Tingos of the Clan W1B, who's out in a grim. Now, the Ting is a fantastic player. So, you know, he's probably gonna carry my backside in this game. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna head towards the C-Cap area. Why? Well, firstly, this is a pretty mobile, heavy tank it's got a good haul down capacity and it's got a pretty decent gun so i'm going to sit here just slightly haul down for the moment problem is sometimes the penetration on this tank isn't the best as you can see i mean it's struggling there to pen the e50m and the is7 so i'm sat here thinking well i'm, I'm on this ridge they can't really hit me but i can't really hit them either so something's got to give somewhere. Somebody's got to make a move. They know what they're doing um, because they're staying all down. I try an HE roll, miss him completely. So we're not doing well at the moment. Oh, the E100 is gonna come up, so may as well stay on this ridge for the moment. Thinking about it, thinking about it. There's a 50B. I have got zero shots. Not only that, I've got a two mate and a grill and they, they're not moving, so I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna take a lot of shots here, get one in, but look at that, I take three, four hits, 
lose over half my HP, but now I'm in a better position. I'm now in a position where I can put shots into things like the E100 and the other tanks. So the E100 is now getting whittled down. My two mate is hitting him. I'm gonna take him. There we go. Get a nice roll into him. Back away a little bit. Wait for the reload. Put another roll into his uh, into his cheeks because he's wide open. He's not a great haul down tank. Get a nice roll in there. We've now done. 1200 damage we're not setting the world on fire but what i'm trying to do because we're losing tanks rapidly i'm trying to get them to push up onto that big gun of my tomb mate and as you can see they're obliging here's the four there's the 4005 the ship mod managed to get a nice he into him i'm now in a better position i know they want to push us we are three tanks left it's three against five and I'm managing to bleed them slowly but surely and I'm managing to try and drag them onto that massive derp gun of Ting in the grill and they are desperate to push us because they know there's only three of us they've got the gun advantage here comes the AMX get a great roll into the AMX here comes the uh, the Porter Potley the 4005 get a nice HE roll into him maybe no I'm on AP still no HE I there we go, 467 into him. He's now a one shot. Ting takes him down. Now we're even Stevens, three against three. The Progetto, wow, he's just behind cover. Can't really do that. I can see the E50 is at enough. He now needs to push because he was in a similar position to me. Ting is now in danger. So I need to throw caution to the wind and go after the E50. I need to try, I track him, which is good. I need to divert his attention, but Ting manages to take him down. So, two against three. We have an IS-7 and a Progetto. What I'm now going to do, I'm now going to go down into the creek, and I'm going to come up. Now, this tank doesn't have great gun elevation, but it does have a nice gun and good frontal armor. So I'm going to be able to get up and smack the Progetto. There we go. Give him a big roll. He's going to get out of my way. Ting takes him down. Now we've got the IS-7. Can I get him before he goes behind the rock? No, I can't because that was just stupid of me. So now I need to push onto him. We've got the gun advantage now. We have got... Ting puts a massive roll into him. He's now effectively a one-shot. So can I get up and behind him? Yes, I probably can. Here we go. Down he goes. 511 damage. We do 4,550 damage, successful game, and we played it that well, and we get rewarded with a mastery. So, great game there, fantastic game by Ting, and a successful platoon in Encounter. Anyway, that has been my take on my thought processes and decision making in Encounter. I've been Fujit, by all means, comment and everything below. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. And as always, I want to do a big thank you to my Patreons and YouTube members and my subscribers because without the former, these videos will be a lot harder to make and without the latter, these videos would be pointless in making them. And until the next time, remember, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because really guys, that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.